Hello and welcome to Savannah Alalea TV, where you learn to listen to your intuition and create a life that you love. There are no gurus here, you are your own guru. I'm simply here to remind you to pay attention to the guru inside you. Unsure if you have a guru inside you? Trust me, you do, because we all do. And when you learn to listen to that part of yourself, that's when the magic happens. So what do you think of when you hear the word pleasure? Do you think of fluffy blankets, delicious meals with friends or a good film? Or do you think of pleasure as being something a little bit naughty, slightly scandalous or something you might get into trouble for? And what about the word hedonism? Does this word make you think of self-indulgence or selfishness? Of people who live only for themselves, going from sensation to sensation without considering their actions or how their actions may be affecting others? People tend to think of hedonism as being all about physical pleasure, a bit of sex, drugs and rock and roll sort of vibe, and often confuse pleasure with this version of hedonism. Interestingly, hedonism originally simply meant living a life motivated by pleasure as opposed to living a life motivated by pain. Motivated being the key word here. I'll spare you the details of the explanation of different philosophies of hedonism, but this idea of living a life where pleasure is your driving force is something I fully support. Does this mean you have no pain? No. Does this mean you avoid pain? No. It simply means making decisions from a place where you have the awareness of what will actually bring you pleasure in the long term and in the moment. To do that, you must first truly know yourself. There's a theme here, I speak about that a lot. Put simply, that means being honest with yourself about what you would like out of life. Then you need to figure out what brings you pleasure so that you can find the most pleasurable way to approach the challenging things in your life. Does this mean it will make it easy? No, but it will make it easier. Now you might be thinking the idea of living from pleasure sounds a bit decadent, even self-indulgent, perhaps selfish and shallow. I firmly believe living from pleasure allows you to find your purpose, passion and path in life. Many people have made the mistake of craving constant comforts, believing that this is what it means to live from pleasure. This is a mistake. Seeking pleasure means to find the most pleasurable way through a task, a situation or a job. By seeking what brings you pleasure, you discover what lights you up and brings you joy. And this is how you find your calling, your purpose and mission in life. Seeking means you have your mind focused on a pleasurable approach as opposed to doing something because you're afraid of a particular outcome. This is what I mean by being motivated from pleasure as opposed to being motivated from pain. When you're motivated from pleasure, by following your desires, you discover treasures within yourself that lead you to your bliss. When you're motivated from pain, you actually end up going down paths that become even more painful because you're coming from a scarcity mindset. So how do you figure out how to move from pleasure? No need to worry, I'm here to help, you're welcome. Grab yourself a notebook and let's get a little bit of journaling in. Now, I'd like to take a moment for you to imagine what your life would look like if it was filled with all the pleasurable things. Be detailed. Where would you live? What would you wear? What kind of meals would you eat? How would you spend your days? Really enjoy this visualization and write down whatever you can imagine. You can hit pause, I will be right here when you get back. I hope that was fun if you took the time to do it. Now take a look at what you've written. What are the themes or elements that you can see repeating? What really stands out to you? What are you most drawn to? And when I say drawn to, what I mean is what most takes your fancy? What I'm talking about is what really pulls you in and has your belly feeling like it's on fire. This is your pleasure, your desire calling out to you. Perhaps it's time to listen. 
It might feel scary to think of living in pleasure at first. You might worry about seeming self-indulgent, or you might be confused by some of the ideas you're pulled towards. But this is where the magic happens. This is where your intuition is speaking to you. Intuition speaks loudest when you connect to your body through listening and awareness in movement as a practice each day. Whether it's yoga, walking, roller skating, hula hooping or square dancing, it doesn't matter what it is, whatever floats your boat. But moving your body every single day will allow you to become more present and centred in your body, which means you'll be able to hear your intuition more clearly. You'll be able to feel those little nudges letting you know, come this way, follow me to your passion. Following those nudges is what will allow you to live in pleasure. And by living in pleasure, you will flourish and shine as a bright example for everyone around you to see. It's up to you if you choose to start calling yourself a hedonist, but whatever brings you pleasure will make you smile. I would love to know in the comments below this video or send me an email about the things that you decide to do. Remember, trust your instincts, follow your intuition because the world needs your voice and the magic it brings to us all. If you've enjoyed this video and feel it could really support someone you know to unlock and live their potential, then feel free to share it forward. I would love to know in the comments below this video or send me an email about the things that you decide to do. I look forward to reading your stories in the comments. Jump on my mailing list to stay reminded and connected with your intuition, plus some special bits and pieces that I only share in email. I look forward to chatting with you next time on Savannah Analia TV. Take care and talk soon. Now you might be thinking pleasure, sorry, now you <laughs> stuck on the word. <laughs> it's probably not a bad thing. <laughs>